So, um, I started reading this book, 77 Shadow Street by Dean Koontz. I don't know when he took the R out of his name, Dean R. Koontz. So I decided I would pick up this, and so far I love it. It's, uh, it's about a haunted house, a big haunted old mansion that has been turned into um, condominiums. So it's a story of all the people that are going through the haunted, through the haunting, separately. <laughs> it's really good. So, yes. If it turns out to be dumb, I'll warn you guys. But it was bargain price at Barnes & Noble for $6.98, so it was worth it. I decided that today I would go drive around on my last day off and go thrift store shopping. And then I came downstairs, I got my shoes on, and I was about to tell Ruger, in you go, and I was leaving, and then I realized I don't want to go shopping, and I have nothing in mind to buy. And I've never used any of the other junk that I've ever purchased at a thrift store. Nothing. I've never used, well, except for these, these beautiful roosters. I love them. I love them. They're my best friends. But that's it. There's nothing else I've ever used. So, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to start sautéing the my uh, green peppers, onions, and garlic for my Cuban beef, black beans, beef, and rice. I don't feel like leaving the house. Although I do want to go to Michael's and get the Tim Holtz um, bottles. Did I show you the ridiculous bottles? <sighs> we might have to go upstairs for this one. All right, so my idea was to mix some of these essences in little jars with the corks so I ordered them and because I don't know millimeters from inches from centimeters um, I have an order of 14 of these <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these nothing fits in there nothing fits in there the cork is bigger than it it's right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll find something. I need to get sand. I'll put pretty color sand in them or something. And some, I don't know. I'm down here. He's a ham. If I was hungry, I would eat him up. I would eat him up. What are you doing? You better tell me a story. Look at that tail. Oh god, here comes Tubby. Here comes Tubby. Hi. Hi, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing, my love of my life? Say hi to the ladies. Say hello to all the ladies. All your girlfriends. Yeah. Hmm, my boys. Uh, I have not crocheted a single stitch. Nothing. And I have all of this yarn. This, um, this has gotten a little bit cleaned up. I've used enough to, uh, I had yarn stuffed in front of all the yarn. And I've used enough yarn to clean it up. And, ta-da! So that looks better. Now uh, I focus on this and use all, all these yarns that are sitting in front of the yarns. This is a whole stack of yarn in front of yarn. So I have to clean that up too. So my goal is to use all of that and have the big front of the shelves clear. Ugh, just a mess. Just a mess. Just a mess and mess. Look at her. I got her for $3. Isn't she pretty? Look at her face. Three dollars. And Ruger is posing for today. He's posing. He's a poser. 
He's a very beautiful model. Yes, beautiful model. I will make him something. It is that time of year again. It's 5.22 p.m. Yes, it's that time of year where it's 5.22 p.m. <laughs> that made no sense at all. Um, it's getting naturally dark. I don't like it, but I do like my new shirt. It's very comfy, except when the cuffs um, get stuck on my elbow, and I was trying to wave, and that it, it went, it went, ah! <laughs> so it was a failed wave because of this shirt, but I fixed it. I went like that, and then I finished my wave. And by that time, I don't even remember who I was waving to. And they probably didn't even notice I was waving in the first place and had that whole thing going on. Alright, I am wearing um, my new shoes as well. Ugh. We don't eat on this counter. This is our keys counter. These are my new Converse. Those are black roses. And it's shiny. It's not leather or pleather. It's just shiny canvas. And I love these shoes. I'm a size woman's eight in Converse. And um, a guy at work told me that since Nike purchased Converse, they have come out with a Converse sneaker, complete with the air shocks and everything. So it'll look like a Nike sneaker, but It will be a Converse. These are my favorite shoes in the whole wide world. I've only had these for about two years and I've washed them. You're not supposed to wash them, but I did. And I've worn them a lot. So I love them so much. Wow, a lot of wear and tear on my shoes. I walk on my heels a lot, look at that. Hmm. At least it's a little even. Which means I have a, a normal gait. Yeah, it's hard to tell on these because it's an uneven shoe and it's multicolored. Boy, how boring is this video? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go read my scary book that's really dumb. But it's giving me tons of nightmares, which is why I'm reading a scary book in the first place. Alright. So, I'm making a salad. And I ran out of vinegar. So, I come into my pantry. And I was like, yeah, I have to clean that up. I'm such a pig. I was like, oh God, I hope I have vinegar. Oh, thank God. And then I look up here and there's some more. And then <laughs> I guess I have this fear of running out of vinegar. So I have enough. So that's all. Bye. President Obama, who at the prayer breakfast essentially acted as an apologist. He said, well, gosh, the crusade, the